Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we got some leaks for the week two milestone master set players that we're gonna break down and cover in this video and take a look at what they potentially could look like. But this is a whole other issue that just continually happens in NHL 22. I wanna say four or five of the events were leaked via this method and that's simply, they were just shown in the PlayStation store. That's right. It looks like as a marketing tactic, they were highlighting the event cards. They just keep going out early. I don't know how much they get from marketing this way on the PlayStation store. I'm not on that side of the business. But the one thing the NHL video game does well in terms of its content is create hype around the events on Friday and stuff like this absolutely kills it. So in the future, I hope they just don't show them in the PlayStation or the Microsoft store because either they can't get their dates right or they're showing the wrong images. I don't know what it is. But regardless, let's get into the new Master Set players. All right, so it did show four MSPs. However, one of them was OEL, so it looks like the order was just all jumbled up. So we can confirm three new Master set players the 89 Nikita Kucherov the 89 Timu Solani and the 89 Mike Green I mentioned in my prior video that I was waiting for week two because they they would have had to do a right-handed defenseman I desperately needed one on my no money spent team and they were going to do a left-handed winger and we've got that in Nikita Kucherov Timu Solani however is going to be really interesting depending on how he statted out because endurance is always hammered on Solani and that can cause some issues but we're going to take a look at what that card will potentially look like at 89 overall these all look phenomenal I'm not gonna lie these are probably the best crop that we've gotten so far in nhl 23 so let's break it down and see what they potentially could look like at 89 overall all right so we'll hop over to the 87 timu solani this is what he's at currently his highest rated card he is going to go up to 89 so we can extrapolate out a few things everything across the board is going to go up by plus two and because it looks like he didn't get a speed increase from 86 to 80 we know that we're guaranteed at least one maybe two speed in the 89 version now ea doesn't really like to give out um you know let things run wild in terms of skating so my guess is that he's going to be at 94 speed 94 acceleration it's that endurance that's absolutely brutal so i'm hoping they give him a synergy that maybe helps out with the endurance and why that is important is because guys he can have all the speed in the world but if after one rush down the ice it's completely wiped out and he's down to like an 85 or 84 overall skater it just really hurts his value however he's still going to be an absolutely incredible card he's gonna have 90 shot his hand stats are gonna be nuts and even defensively with defensive awareness and stick checking that'll be in the mid 90s this is gonna be a really fun right-handed card now i talked about if you didn't have any of the high-end x-factor players or team builders there wasn't a lot of options for right-handed wingers until zabinajad but zabinajad's also so good at center that timu solani is probably going to be one of the better right-handed wingers even on top of you know guys like barzal and stamkos and pasternak um this is just going to be an extremely good card it'll be interesting to see what his abilities are if they give him elite edges to make up for that 85 agility good lord that's gonna be great all right next so let's take a look at mike green this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult because because he is going to jump up plus seven from his highest rated card he's getting a milestone for his eight game goal scoring streak and I I can remember paying attention to this back when it was going on. Like, he was an incredible goal scorer from the back end. One of the best that we've seen in the last, I would say, 20 years. However, if he goes up plus 7, again, speed will only go up by 0.5. So we're looking at 4, maybe 3 in terms of his speed acceleration, which would be around 90 overall, which is still among the best right-handed defensemen in the game so far. He's going to get plus 7 on his shot power, which would get it into the 90s. Accuracy a little bit lower, but still on the high end for defense his hand stats will almost all touch 90 as well body checking will be in the high 80s defensive awareness and stick checking will be at 90 as well it's all going to come down to his abilities if he gets like stick him up shut down truculence uh that could be really really fun i doubt they give him a skating synergy like they did for his 82 but maybe uh but nonetheless he's going to be one of the best right-handed defensemen especially because he's six foot one 207 so he's got good size uh, really really excited for this card i think uh, it's actually a pretty good milestone as well i'm actually uh, on board with this msp and then lastly we've got the 89 nikita kucherov i think i forget that he had a 128 point regular season that tampa bay team that got knocked out by columbus was so incredible 
and everyone just forgets about it, I think like I, I don't know but not everyone but myself like I just completely forget about that team man what a squad regardless he's got 87 overall 511 183 so his speed will go up by one no matter what maybe two so we might be looking at 92 speed 93 acceleration before synergies his shot is going to be above 90s hand stats are going to be at 95 roughly uh, which is great it's his agility I'm really excited for as well and I don't know if they would put it on Solani but maybe they put elite edges on Kucherov just that would make elite edges guys has made is one of the more fun abilities in the game because it allows you to make these like crazy dekes like the fun open ice stuff where you can make some actual big moments happen uh, via some exciting plays I love elite edges and I hope to see it on one of these um, maybe it is Nikita Kucherov his shot has been really good as well I had him on my no money spent team for a little while and you definitely notice the shot uh, but this is going to be one of the better left-handed wingers as well uh, the only person that it's going to be behind really in terms of left-handed wingers is if you run mcdavid on wing so uh really really excited for this card can't wait to see how it goes and uh yeah man friday is going to be lit all right guys so that is going to do it for the new leaked master sets we will get on friday there is still one more that we don't know now judging by how the spotlight event went it's going to be a forward i can almost guarantee Tea. it won't be a goaltender it could be a, a woman card they have done too like they did in the spotlight event so um you know that could be an option as well with hillary knight getting one earlier in week one we could see another one in week two but kucherov solani and mike green let me know what you think in the comments section down below and like i said here is the god squad kucherov is going on the team to replace probably johnny goodrow larkin has just been way too much fun and i would keep him no matter what uh and then solani is probably going to replace hey duke and jump way up here to be honest with you depending on his abilities and then the mike green 1000 percent is going to be on the god squad as well as the new the no money spent team i think mike green is uh, a really really good card for no money spent to actually invest your coins and, and resources into excited to see how it turns out though guys let me know what you think i'll see you next time